Okay, so now that we have our grid set up, um, now we are going to start working on uh, designing the story. So we're on page two and three right now, and that's the opening spread. Opening spread is going to be a big picture, a headline, uh, a, a nicely designed headline, a deck head, um, a, a deck head slash subhead, the byline, uh, if there is a photographer that f uh, um, photograph the whole story. You could do a photo credit, photos by on um, the opening spread. And you know sometimes they actually have the first paragraph of the story on the opening spread and sometimes uh, when they do that they don't run it body copy size. They make it bigger uh, as a kind of introductory to the story. But that's the opening spread. We're going to talk about the jump spread which is down here on page four and five and the jump spread is basically where all the um, heavy lifting happens with reading the story so let's see let's do the first thing let's uh, do um, by, uh, stylize our body copy so I'm going to file open I'm um, file in place and I'm going to open up the Arise story, and here's the Arise document. So you can place a, a Word doc, and I'm going to have it aligned to the type. So let's see, what do we have? We've got a read-in, we've got a headline, we, we have the story by and the photos by, and so that is all going to happen on the um, on the opening spread. So I can delete this or I can cut it and bring it up here and paste it. So this stuff is going to happen uh, on the opening spread. So I'm going to separate that from the rest of the story. This is where the real story happens. And a lot of times you'll see that um, stories come in and writers will uh, add additional returns in between paragraphs. This can be quite a pain in the neck. Uh, so what I do, I, re I initially start cleaning up the type and I will do that through find and replace. So I'm going to go command F which brings our find and replace and I'm going to go to grep styles. Don't ask me what grep means, I'm not sure, but it has some universal things that I always do to type before I bring it in. Um, if there's multiple returns, I change it to a single return change all okay if their uh, uh, writers tend to put double spaces between sentences uh, that's uh, back in the typewriter era and so I want to change all multiple spaces into a single space change all Oop, there's none here good and then finally we're going to remove any t trailing white space change all Okay, done. So that has cleaned up the type. Um, and this little red plus sign means there's an overset. So there's more uh, type uh, that's not being shown. So what I will do is I can click on this, let's see, click on this, and then drag out another text box on the next side. So these two, these two uh, story frames are linked, and see there's even more. Now, for this, uh, for this project, um, you're only designing the first two jump pages of a story. So I'm not expecting you to fit everything of this story uh, onto just two pages. So think of it as these are the first two pages of maybe 10 pages that the whole story will fit on. So I'm just going to stop right here and we will know that there will be an overset because this whole story is not going to fit on two pages. The next thing we want to do is we want to change the column width of this copy. So because we're on a 12 column grid we have the, the ability to change the columns. Here's the column area right here to two columns and you can see it adheres to the grid, right that gutter right there, or three columns, and it still adheres to the grid. Um, it could be four columns, but those columns are way too narrow, so I would 
probably never do uh, four columns for body copy. Let's just do three columns for now. And then we do the same thing over here, is add three columns. The next thing is there is a return, there is a tab here. They've indented this with a tab. And your indents are being created through indenting, not tabbing. So I'm going to go up to type and I'm going to go show hidden characters and you can see this double arrow that's an indent uh, I'm sorry that's a tab and we're going to remove the tabs and just have a return so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in front of the first letter of the paragraph highlight that tab and highlight this paragraph I'm going to copy this command C I'm going to go back into my find and replace command F and instead of grep, I'm going to go into text and I'm going to go command V or paste. And so if you look, this caret P is a paragraph. This caret T is a tab. And I want to change it to, I'm going to paste again and delete the tab. So I'm going to find a paragraph and a tab and I'm just going to replace it with a paragraph. So what we'll do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select all which is command A. You can't just drag it, drag your cursor over it because you're going to miss the type that's outside of this frame. So command A selects all the type even the type that you can't see. And then I'm going to change all. And then click OK. And so you can see, well, there's no indents, right? Uh, so we're going to create indents. Um, first of all, let's stylize the type. I'm going to go uh, Command A. Now remember, 12 point type is really big and not normal for uh, uh, magazines. Uh, I'm also going to try and figure out what's a good typeface um, because this default is a default and it's not good all the time. So I think I'm going to go with um, just Baskerville Old Face. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this down to, you know, remember in our uh, body copy lecture, uh, body copy is usually between 11 and 9 points. So I'm just going to make it 10 points. And this 12 points letting is the default. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit more space. White space is our friend. So now I know what the typeface is going to look like. Now I need to create an indent and it's still selecting all and I'm going to come in here and go down to paragraph formatting and this right here is our first line indent and the first line indent is usually defaulted to either the size of the body copy or the size of the letting of the body copy. So the size of the body copy is 10 point. So if we put a 10 in here and then hit enter, that creates that indent. If you wanted to make it the size of the letting, then it would be one pica and one point because the letting is 13. So one pica is 12 adding one point is 13. So 1P1 equals 13 points. And so let's enter that. There we go. Notice that when um, we formatted the type, I made it smaller. Now all of a sudden things are starting to fit in here, but again, you don't have to fit this whole story on a page. I want you to uh, make it dynamic so there's not a lot of great uh, space on the page so people aren't overwhelmed by all the type that's showing that's looking at them in the face so that's how you format paragraph uh, body copy